Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 41st Toronto International Film Festival Awards Ceremony. I'm Pierce Handling, Director and CEO of TIFF. And I'm Cameron Bailey, Artistic Director of the Toronto International Film Festival. Welcome to everyone here at TIFF Bell Lightbox and to everyone watching on our TIFF live stream. And I hope that you've all got access to one of these. We want to raise a glass to you. Thank you for the last 11 days of the festival, for all of your interest, all of your passion for the movies, and thanks especially to the filmmakers and our audience. Cheers. Cheers. So, can't quite believe how quickly the last 11 days have flown by. Do you have a good time, Cam? Uh, I'm still having a good time. Good, good. <laughs> Tomorrow I crash. So, <laughs> me too. Highlights have been plenty. From our spectacular opening night film and the excitement of our world-renowned audiences, to all the wonderful filmmakers and artists who have joined us in this memorable edition of the Film Festival. Now, before we get to the awards announcements, we want to acknowledge the Mississaugas of the New Credit, the Haudenosaunee, and the Huron-Wendat, the original keepers of this land, for hosting us today and for hosting TIFF on their land every day. This is one of our favorite events because we get to look back on the 11 special days of celebrating cinema right here in Toronto. Very special thanks goes to everyone who helped make 2016 happen and make it so memorable and contributed to its wonderful success. From our thousands of volunteers, festival venues teams, industry delegates, film publicists, members of the press corps, and last but not least, our incredible audience. I'm sure, <laughs> go ahead, they're amazing. They're the best in the world, let's face it. I'm sure you'll join me in saluting them for their hard work, dedication, and boundless energy over the past 11 days. We'd also like to acknowledge the support of the following organizations. Our lead sponsor, Bell. Our major sponsors, RBC, L'Oreal Paris, and Visa. Our major supporters, the Government of Ontario, Telefilm Canada, and the City of Toronto. And our major industry supporters, the Ontario Media Development Corporation and Telefilm Canada. Yes. And also, a big thanks to our wonderful community of donors, members, and friends. We'd also like to acknowledge the official suppliers who are supporting today's event, Grolsch, Pepsi, and Sterling Wine. Congratulations, you know, this, this team is with us. This film takes place, or this film takes a summer in Quebec and infuses it with a rye bomb. Is he here? Yes, I believe Alexander is here. Please welcome Alexander Dostine. I heard these guys drove back from Quebec. Please welcome shorts programmer Kathleen McKinnis. Congratulations to Mark Raymond Short Films. Our next award, the City of Toronto Award for Best Canadian First Feature, is presented to a talented filmmaker. The city has been a valued partner for many years. This year we worked especially. And I'd like to thank Mayor John Tory and the city for their support. Hal Mitzgetsky. Unfortunately, John Boyack from Distributor, Films We Like. Uh, I'm not John. Up next is the Canada Goose Award for Best Canadian Feature Film. This award is bestowed on the filmmaker with the most impressive Canadian feature and character. The feature's jury. Directed by Matthew Denis and Simon Lebois. Congratulations to Mathieu and Simon, everyone from Ceux qui font les révolutions. Thank you so much to our uh, Canadian film jury. And I'm glad the producer mentioned money because the great thing about this radical critique of capitalism that is this film is that it comes with a cash prize. Everyone, I'd like to say a, a few when thanks. Told, not without a degree of anger at personal and political injustice, Fipreshi is pleased. I believe Mbiki is here and will come to the stage.
And now our the Chinese legal system and for its unique style and aesthetic choices program to I'm Not Madame Bovary by Feng Xiang Gang. Zhao Gang is in San Sebastian right now, but he has sent us this message. Uh, that was uh, director. Award on behalf of Mesa Lu. Our next award is the Joel. This award carries a prize of $25,000. The 2016 platform jury is. today, but I believe you can send us a short message. <laughs> Here, the Girls People's Choice Award is presented to the biggest crowd pleasers as selected by the Choice Midnight Madness Award is Julia Ducourneau's Raw. Free Fires distributed in Canada, Canada by Elevation. Here's Colin Laurie's on her way. Um, I'll be... Thank you, Laurie. Thank you, Colin. And congratulations go to Ben. Now on to the Girls People's Choice Documentary Award. The second runner-up is Fisher Stevens' Before the Flood. Kudos to Raul for this very well-deserved win. Um, he can't be with us today, but he did send. And finally, the Grolsch People's Choice Award. The second runner-up is Mira Nair's Queen of Katwe. <laughs> the first runner-up is Garth Davis's Lion. And I'm very pleased to announce that the 2016 Grolsch People's Choice Award goes to Damien Chazelle's La La Land. I'd like to invite Mark Sloan from E1 Films Canada to join us and say a few words. have it somewhere. You yeah. don't have it? No, I thought you okay, did. Okay, <laughs> I thought you had it. Okay, we're looking for a statement from, uh, and we will be saved by Tanya. Thank you so much. There you go. Yeah. We get these statements moments before the, the ceremony starts, and thankfully we have one. We did. We were able to reach out, and we did get in touch with Damien, but uh, oh, it's on paper, so I won't be reading off of a, off of a phone today. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> don't drop that. <laughs> Pierce. Uh, on behalf of Damien, uh, he writes, I am overjoyed that La La Land has received the Grolsch People's Choice Award. Getting to even make this movie was a dream come true, and to see it connect with Toronto audiences in this way is deeply gratifying. I wanted this film to speak the way that even the most far-fetched dreams can guide us, and everything about this moment feels surreal. I am honoured and utterly indebted to an incredible cast and crew, and to Tiff, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. And, uh, and just on behalf of uh, Entertainment One and Lionsgate and the film's producers, we just wanted to thank Tiff and the jury uh, uh, for uh, showing this film. It's an incredible romantic drama with amazing music, and it will be uh, on screen this fall. I encourage everybody who hasn't seen it yet to go check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations to all of the award winners today. 
At TIF 2016, it's been a big year for us. We've welcomed more than 497,000 attendees, over 5,500 industry delegates, and 1,300 media to talk business, make deals, watch movies, and report on everything happening in our festival village. Screening 397 feature and short films from 83 countries, this year's festival has been one of the most diversely rich and entertaining festivals in the 41-year history of TIFF. Our goal to bring film to Canadian and global audiences continues 365 days a year, and our focus on community programming, outreach, and educational initiatives will not waver as we drive forward our charitable mandate of bringing the power of film to life. And although this year's festival is coming to a close, we certainly don't have much downtime. Our fall programming lineup is exciting and ambitious, including the celebration of 50 years of Star Trek, a Rainer Werner Fassbinder retrospective, and a spotlight on the beautifully animated work of Studio Ghibli. And of course, we will kick off 2017 with Canada's Top 10 Film Festival and our sesquicentennial celebrations. Can't wait to see you at Tiff Bell Lightbox over the next few months. Those infinite views will continue infinitely, we hope. On behalf of TIFF, thank you for joining us for this year's festival and for being here today. I also want to extend a special thanks to the hundreds of people on TIFF staff, the thousands of volunteers, and the programming team especially who've done a remarkable job once again this year. We take a brief pause, a brief rest, and we will be back working on next year's festival right away, so please mark your calendars. We'll see you back here in Toronto September 7th to 17th, 2017, for our 42nd festival. Thanks, everyone. See you next year. The president of the festival, Piron Sandling, e un festival meraviglioso con tanti bei film, tanti personaggi, moltissimi ospiti. Hi, Piers. Uh, how was going this festival that it's almost at the end? We're very, very happy. It's been an extremely good addition. The weather has been terrific. The films have been very well received. The, um, there's some films that are being bought out of the festival. The critics, I think, are very generous. Um, it, we've had a phenomenal lineup of films from around the world. Some of the big movies that I think will go into the Oscar and Golden Globe campaigns, as well as, of course, many, many films from around the world. This year we've had films from 83 countries, a very big representation. About one third of the directors are women directors who are very conscious about di issues like of diversity. And um, so we've got many, many films that actually deal with a lot of the subjects that I think are on people's minds these days by racial, racial issues, issues of immigration, issues of youth, the radicalization of youth. So it's a very topical festival, I think, at the same time. Um, but I've run into so many happy people, the public, the press, um, and the industry. So it's been terrific, and we closed off um, John Street, turned it into a pedestrian pathway for four days at the beginning of the festival, which was amazing. There was so much activity and energy in the streets. It's the lineups around the block all the time, wherever I go, for the films. The cinemas have been packed. The filmmakers are very, very happy, everyone. So it's been a charmed festival. Perfect. So, Piers, thank you so much, and please do it again. Thank you so much, Mary Angela. Ciao.
movies like this, movies that are just creative for the sake of being creative and free and ambitious. I just want to tell great stories and I want to tell different stories and I believe as a community, as a people, it's our job to control our narrative. We don't only have to tell one type of story. When I start to film like this, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I try to follow more the pattern of life. You don't know what you are going to do in life. I look at myself as a storyteller, someone who wants to tell universal stories in unforgettable ways. This is a special film for me. It's a, it's a film that has uh, no artifice, I think. It's a film that is from my heart. A lot of our human condition is about living together and finding ways to resolve conflict. And so you have those heroes who arise. It's a hundred years from now, when we're all dead and gone, our film will be still here. And we hope somebody learns from it.